Morning guys, starting my vlog off in my iconic pink jumper again and shit hair, <laughs> what's new? It is just past 11 a.m. I'm just doing a webinar right now with Shiseido. They're launching in Mecca. Well, they've actually just come in store at Mecca this week. So that's really exciting. I was meant to have a little kit to play with while I watched this, but it didn't come because I feel so bad. Like all the posties in Melbourne, they just run off their feet because of lockdown, obviously. Everyone's doing so much online shopping. So everything's taking forever. I think my Shiseido uh, stuff's you know, here, uh, like right you don't wear everything once, but make one oh my god. Rabbit. I've never actually tried any Shiseido makeup before. I thought it was like a really classy brand and I never really thought of it as like a fun brand. But after watching this, I'm like, whoa, bitch, this is fun. What did you have for dinner? Hi! How was it? I'm just not eating Charlotte. It was really young. Stinks. I completed my exercise goal today and I almost made two loops. Oh wow, congrats. I have not. This is great content. His ears are so what? Dog's getting ready to eat. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm about to go to the dentist to deal with a broken tooth that I've had for like four years. I was eating a cherry ripe one day, just minding my own business. A piece of coconut got wedged between two teeth. I got it out with my fingernail, and then I realized it wasn't wedged between two teeth. It was wedged in a crack in one tooth. So out came half of my tooth with the coconut. It hasn't bothered me until I went to my orthodontist and he was like, mate, you've got half of your tooth missing. Uh, and he showed me some photos of the time that I went to the orthodontist six months before. And yep. Yeah. It's apparently grown a lot. I'm gonna go right now. I've also got freaking forehead acne. It came out of nowhere and every day I wake up it's worse. So it's not a vibe. I just like fear of the unknown, you know? What's gonna happen? Do I have to get my tooth out today? Anyway, I'll see you guys when I'm done. It is a freaking beautiful day. I've been at the dentist for like an hour and 15 minutes. They didn't have to take the tooth out or anything. That was just such an enjoyable experience. I'm home now. I'm just about to film a little makeup shoot just for Instagram. My room's a mess right now because I was going to film ASMR this morning, but then I didn't get up early enough. This is the candle that I've got right now. It's called Kyoto in Bloom. It is divine it's really feminine without being like sweet it's just so good so i always trim the wicks before i light it every single time because that just i don't actually know why you do that i don't know why you do anything you do with candles but candles if you want to get the most out of them and make them last the longest and if you want to get the glass jar afterwards without getting all that black ash stuff on it you have to look after them the thing i've learned about candles which is like a funky tip is you got the lighter in here doll um yes when you're burning your candle for the first time, you've got to make sure that it, the wax of the candle is melted all the way out to the rim, if that makes sense. It's called the memory burn. You know when you get a candle and it kind of tunnels, like all the middle is melted, but there's all this candle outside? That's because the first time you burnt it, you didn't burn it for long enough. The wax will only melt as far out as you burn it the first time. So make sure before you light a candle, you can have it lit for at least like two to three hours i feel like it normally takes anyway just a bit of useless info that you didn't ask for but seriously i didn't ask for that information either i just came across it on instagram and i was like hmm interesting i didn't know there was such an art to burning candles and i'm also going to put disclosure's new album on energy because i haven't listened to it yet and i'm very excited and then i'm going to sit down and film <sighs> that's delicious finish filming now my lipstick is off because my lips are so dry and i keep picking them <laughs> Did you hear that sound my throat just made? I've just gone and got myself some KFC because I really do be deserving it today. After going to the dentist, filming. So let's do a bit of a KFC haul. Oh, this is the most boring haul ever, I just realized. So I got a popcorn chicken go bucket. And I also got this. I don't think I've had one before, but maybe I have. Yeah, I have actually, I do remember. It's a uh, slider. Isn't it cute? Because I was like, I always order way too much KFC because I want to eat everything, but just a little bit of everything, but it gets expensive, so. Good morning, guys. 
I didn't vlog that much last night because I, what did I do? Oh, I went to bed so early. <gasps> Hello, little baby. No? All right. Yeah, I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday as well because I'm a crusty hoe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so funny. It's 7.36 a.m. I got up at 6 a.m. today. Who the hell is this bitch? I filmed my ASMR video, my second one, and I'm really proud of myself for doing it because I just like know my videos aren't going to be perfect and they're not going to be what I want them to be right now because I hummed up. You know when you just start something new and you know it's not going to be perfect and you know it's not going to be exactly how you want it to be so it kind of puts you off because you don't you never want to go through those like teething pains of starting something new and not being good at it and that's how i feel about asmr but like you just gotta do it you just gotta do it you've got to get through that shit phase and that shit stage of whatever kind of like new project you're starting or new journey your beginning and get through it anyway now i'm just going to edit that video so that will be up tonight and then i've just got a day of like filming and editing content and stuff like that and then tomorrow is a day off i think i'm gonna have a cheese platter for dinner tonight like i'm really feeling it bye hun dog bye hey mate what's up bitches i weigh 68 i was waiting for I was literally waiting for it. All Emily talks about is her weight loss. Literally, her weight loss or calories. My man's just having his breakfast. Just he's reading and watching Gilmore Girls, which is actually the worst show ever, I've realized. It's just because every single character is so unlikable and I can't believe it. Actually, no, that's not true. Just the main characters. Love Emily. Well, I like Jesse because he looks like Matt. But I hate Lorelai and Rory. They're actually the most unrelatable bitches ever. Oh. Mum's having Bailey's for breakfast and a donut. <laughs> oh my god. How does work? Yeah, it was good. That's good. It's really windy. I've just had my protein shake and my eggs. Next cab off the rank is filming my reels. You know, Instagram reels with Fenty Skin. I haven't tried it yet, so it's going to be like a first impressions little 15 second vid where people are going to get no information at all. So I've got the Total Cleanser. I bought these, by the way. I didn't get them sent to me. The Fat Water, which I'm really excited about. I've had a look at all the ingredients. There is um, fragrance and colorants in all of them. Sometimes I can deal with fragrance. Sometimes I can't. And then the um, moisturizer that's an SPF as well. I've finished my filming for the day. It's two o'clock. I'm about to have my lunch. If you're wondering what foundation I'm wearing, because you should be, it's actually the best in the world. It is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Skin Refreshing, I think it's called, or Self Refreshing. Um, I'll link it in the description box because it's actually incredible. Even matte commented on it even matt was like what foundation are you wearing okay this is what we've got for lunch falafel wraps with hummus mayo spinach lettuce cucumber and falafel hi <gasps> hello. hello yeah what's wrong morning guys we are on the way to safeway Matt's gonna get out because only one person can get out right now. We're gonna get some stuff with some bagels for breakfast. I've gotta think about what I want. Because the most unfortunate thing happened to me, I don't know if I've told you guys this, I probably have, but I'm obsessed with avocado, but it makes me feel like vomiting. Like I think I have some kind of allergic reaction to avocado and I will actually vomit if I eat too much. It's like crippling nausea, it's so pits. Like all I want right now is like sesame seed bagel, avocado, cream cheese, tomato, because that's what I saw my friend Ellie have for breakfast yesterday and I was like, bitch, that looks so good. So maybe I should just risk it. Have a little bit of avo. Got the goods. Vibe town. Wow, okay. It's freaking windy. Hey mate, why is this my dim tins? My dog! Look at his boot. Oh really? He ripped his claw out of his um, yesterday. He look so cute. Skinny legend Emily is working out. Are my eyes really red around them? Your right eye is a bit red. This? Yeah. It's a bit swollen. Oh, I've got a pimple up here, that's why, and it's like causing all this to swell. How good. Guys, I didn't vlog my breakfast 
and you should be really upset about it. I'm really upset about it. Not good enough, Maddie. Um, I didn't like the cherry tomatoes on the bagel because it was just too much, but I had avo, lemon. feta, lemon, tuna, chili, flakes, salt and pepper. It was. Now I'm about to play Super Smash Brothers. I'm eating pizza and it's making me feel sick. <laughs> Why? It's too much. <laughs> Do you want to some time has passed on this riveting Sunday. We've played Super Smash Brothers. I've been on Domain looking for houses to buy, even though I have no money. <laughs> now we're going to my favorite place to eat. I don't know if you've heard it. It's um, no, McDonald's. It. Really good, really cheap. Jesse went crazy. Yeah, oh crazy. yeah, oh my God. I was so shattered we didn't have it on camera. Jesse was playing so badly on Super Smash Brothers and normally like she's actually all right. Matt was playing with us and Matt kept beating Jessie and Jessie was actually about to cry. She took her shirt off and she was well, just wearing just like a sports bra. They all play as like um, a certain character and I thought it'd be funny to play as this <laughs> character. But... Vibe town. Guys, it's the next morning. I didn't film Super Smash Brothers last night, but I've got something to make it up to you with. Mum was defrosting chicken breasts on a plate on the bench last night, and they were like all wrapped up nicely. And then this morning, Jesse woke up, and there was only one chicken breast on the plate. And we were like, what the hell? It was like the hell? over the table. She'd, yeah, it was like spread everywhere. And we were like, what the hell? And we couldn't find it. And this has happened before. The cats just like find chicken breasts. So we're defrosting and put them somewhere. Mum just found them <laughs> under the oven slash stove. <laughs> oh my god. It's so funny because Red has got something going out in <laughs> That <laughs> is so funny. Like imagine these small little turd cats just carrying this chicken breast that's honestly nearly the same size as them. Probably taking it under there so Brody can't eat it. They're like, this is our find. <laughs> <laughs> keep running under there and coming out. You are an idiot. You're such an idiot and you're looking kind of fat. Is it because you've been oh, eating chicken? Been eating chicken breasts? Scott is acting so sus today. <sighs> so that's a bit of joy on a Monday morning where we're all a bit depressed. Matt and I are about to do Pilates. The Monday morning vibe is not great, is it? ISO is really getting the better of everyone right now, I feel. It's okay. Especially my hair. No, I just washed it last night, so. Nice Thanks. Did you get that? Hawaii. We've been doing the Pilates class by Jackie Kingswell, and I love Jackie Kingswell so much. It's going to look frumpy. Frumpy? Yeah, yeah that's because this leaf is so big and it's not like oh, okay. grown yet. Yeah, have you shown them my plan? No. Nah. My plan is... Show us. My plan, my plan is slaps. Slaps? Yeah. What's his name? Luda. Luda! Because of my, one of my favourite lyrical passages of all time. Luda! Um, what's it, is it where them girls at? Scott, yeah. what's for, what's for Brecky? Show them my plan. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's yeeting! It's so this is the new leaf. Lots of that marbling. I don't remember why that's caused. We've got some new growth in there as well. Good on you, Luda. You need a pot for it. Yeah, I do. And there's Mum's plant up there doing incredibly. Aw, don't show them the dead um, one. Mum, more than half of your plants are dead. No, I'll That one's not. Yeah. What one? <laughs> Ready? I'm dreading it. Wow, I look like I have boobs. My dad dog's pretty good, isn't it? Um, which one do you want to do? Do you feel like a like an intense one, or do you? Yeah, maybe like a twenty or thirty minute one. Full body one intense. That one looks pretty good to me. And just start by rolling your shoulder blades up and back. Get your body into the correct position. Get your mind into the right mind frame. God, I look so gorgeous. We're done. All right, I think I'm gonna sign out of this vlog now, guys. I don't know if I've got enough footage, but. Look how good I look. This is meant to look like clouds. Well, it don't. Still cool.
Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna sign out now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Love ya.